What on earth would a geologist know about climate? The answer is probably more than warmists know. Most geology textbooks, only for the last 200 years, have had about half of the textbook devoted to climate. And we've seen over the history of time, the planet has warmed, the planet has cooled. We've had major ice ages. Every ice age was initiated at a time when there was more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere than now. So how can carbon dioxide drive warming? And we've seen periods of time when there's been a thousand times as much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, yet we've had ice ages. We've seen this carbon dioxide sequestered out of the atmosphere, into rocks, into limey rocks, into coal, into petroleum. And when we look back in time, there's one thing that we see, and that is that carbon dioxide has never driven climate change. <coughs> and so, in today's world, which is tomorrow's geology, we have to ask the really fundamental question to our warmest friends. Show me that human emissions of carbon dioxide drive global warming. That question cannot be answered. Show me that the human emissions of carbon dioxide drive global warming. And of course, if they attempt to, you can say, well, wait a minute, folks. 3% of annual emissions are from human activities. The other 97% are natural, from degassing of the oceans and from volcanoes and bacteria and all sorts of other sources. I'm breathing out 4% carbon dioxide, breathing in 0.04%. So if you can show me that that 3% drives global warming, you've got to show me something even more difficult, and that's that the 97% of natural emissions don't drive global warming. So we are dealing with absolute nonsense. And this nonsense has gone on for a very long period of time. And the nonsense is not based on the fundamentals of science, and that is evidence. As soon as one has a contrary view, one's parenthood gets questioned, you get shouted <laughs> down, you get called all sorts of names, and uh, <coughs> I don't worry about those. Just show me that the human emissions of carbon dioxide drive climate change, and it hasn't been done.